Hello and welcome and in today's episode, a new airport that is going to be operational in Phan Thiết by 2022. Hanoi first metro service to start commercial operation this month. Vietnam has some plans for vaccine passport acceptance, so let's get moving. Hello, this is Trang. I'm from Yung Global's communication team and you're watching Vietnam Weekly News where we share the hottest and latest information regarding Vietnam. Don't want to miss our breaking news? Make sure that you hit like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more. Thank you. On a meeting on April 9, the Ministry of Defense confirmed to the press that they are determined to complete the Thang Thiek Airport by 2022. The Major General Nguyen Văn Đức from the General Political Department also said that the, this is the policy to build a dual-purpose airport for military and civil missions. Over the past time, the Ministry of Defense has drastically directed functional agencies and units to complete procedures to invest in the construction of Phan Thiết Airport, according to regulations. Phan Thiết Airport was approved by the Prime Minister in 2009, covering 543 hectares. The project was started in early 2015, expected to be complete in 2018, but then stopped. Now, as the airport is going to be operational by 2022, it is planned to be an airport level 4E, with the function of an airport for common civil and military level 1, and has international flight operations. The passenger's terminal has a desired capacity of 2 million passengers per year. With this action, the Phan Thiết Airport is going to be one of the six domestic airports in the southern of Vietnam, including Linh Khương, Bu Ma Thuộc, Công Đảo, Rạch Giá, and Cà Mau. Hanoi's first metro service from Cát Linh to Hà Đông is expected to start commercial operations in April. The Ministry of Transport has hand over the Cát Linh to Hà Đông urban railway project to Hanoi in April and for it to start commercial operations by the end of this month. According to Mr. Vũ Hồng Trường, General Director of Hanoi Metro, after the Cát Linh Hà Đông Metro going into operation, all passengers will have free tickets in the first 15 days to use the metro. After 15 free days, the ticket price for the Cát Linh Hà Đông train is expected at 7,000 VND to 15,000 VND per ticket per one way. Ticket prices are also sold on daily, monthly, and quarterly basis depending on the needs of the train passengers. Specifically, Metro Hanoi applies the price of 30,000 VND per ticket per day and 200,000 VND per ticket per month for ordinary passengers. At the time of making this video, the stations of the Gatlin Hadong Urban Railway Line in recent days are more active the equipment for passengers such as automatic ticketing system, the checking counter on the train and the speaker system, the guide bar are all ready to operate. Last but not least, the Vietnamese government announced a new progress that would make it easier for the international investors and Vietnamese returnees to come back to Vietnam with COVID-19 vaccine certificates. Following an earlier meeting in April, the Civil Aviation Authority of Vietnam, CAAV, urged the relevant agencies to come up with solutions that can shorten the quarantine time for international visitors who are already vaccinated. On a meeting last Friday, the National Steering Committee for COVID-19 Prevention and Control discussed many plans to optimize economic development while maintaining public safety against the pandemic. Đặng Quang Tân, head of the General Department of Preventive Medicine under the Ministry of Health, declared that Vietnamese stranded in foreign countries, international visitors and foreign tourists will be prioritized in the first phase of vaccine passport acceptance in Vietnam, provided that they had two jabs against COVID-19 as recommended by international health authorities. In the near future, the health authorities will also release a list of accepted countries, vaccine types, as well as quarantine guidance for all vaccine passport holders. 
Also in the meeting, it is confirmed that all of the technology infrastructure for handling COVID-19 vaccine passport was basically ready. For now, visitors who wish to enter Vietnam and have vaccine passport are divided into three groups. The first group is stranded Vietnamese citizens. The second group will be foreigners entering Vietnam to invest and do business. The third group would be comprised international tourists. Experts believe that Vietnam will welcome visitors from countries that have the pandemic under control and deploy vaccination programs that achieve community immunity. It is important that you should know this report is only a proposal which is a result from a recent meeting of relevant agencies and it has not been approved by the Vietnamese government yet. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like it, make sure that you hit like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and I see you in the next episode. Thank you and goodbye.